Hello everybody, I'm Derek Crane. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. For today's Tutorial Tuesday, we're gonna do a seven minute ab routine. It's gonna be a blaster. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Let's go ahead and start getting down onto the ground. I'm gonna come all the way down, right, right all the way to your back. You're gonna put, put the hands underneath the glutes and bring in the feet six inches above the ground. So just beginning here, just hold in this position. Mainly what I want you focusing on is pushing your lower back into the ground, keeping your feet about six inches above the ground. Through this position, just taking deep breaths here. From here, we're gonna go right into flutters. So with those feet, you're just gonna, you're gonna alternate, raising one, lowering the other, more concentrated movements. So let's go ahead and start going into the flutters here, still keeping that height about six inches above the ground. So just, just fluttering here. Again, emphasis theme, pushing your lower back into the ground. Taking deep breaths. You don't want to be holding your breaths even in these concentrated movements. <clears throat> Good, we're gonna do this for six more seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet gonna be flat down onto the ground. We're gonna go right into crunches. So just from feet on flat onto the ground, bringing the chest up off the ground and then rolling back down, right back up. Rolling back down, right back up. Rolling back down. So you're gonna hold at the top for a second, coming back down. Hold at the top for a count, coming right back down. Here we go, let's get eight more here. Eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two and one. Awesome. We're gonna go, in, go into extended bicycle. So bring that left knee up into the chest, right leg fully extends. You're gonna actually reach up and touch the bottom of your foot. So with both your hands reaching up, touching the bottom of your foot, you're gonna go ahead and switch over to the other side. Reaching up, touching the bottom of your foot. Good, switch and touch the bottom. Switch, touch the bottom. Switch, touch the bottom. Keeping the shoulder blades up off the ground. Switch, touch the bottom. Switch, touch the bottom. Here we go, we're gonna get 20 of these. Here's 20 and 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feet flat onto the ground, going to bridge. Holding bridge for five, four, three, two, one. Rolling one vertebrae at a time all the way down. Flipping over to our stomachs. Going right into upright plank. So all the way up into push up position. Now through this position, I want you actually pushing through the palms of your hands so that you feel like you're pushing away from the ground. And through this position, if you can tell how I have a slight round, I'm actually looking for that round. What that's called is a hollow position. Very, very common to see in, in gymnastics. It's like the basis of every single movement is to create this hollow position. There's a lot of strength within this position. So through this position, you're actually feeling your core engaged. Do a little self check, you can actually engage your quads to help support, you can engage your hamstrings to help support, you can engage your glutes to help support, pushing the ground away so you're engaging your entire shoulder complex. Holding this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Good, we're gonna go right back onto our backs, all the way down. Now what we'll do is, is create that hollow position from our backs. Feet come up, knees come up. You're gonna extend your hands straight up towards the ceiling. Now from this position with your shoulder blades slightly off the ground, go ahead and extend your feet out. At the same time, go ahead and extend your hands behind you, keeping your shoulder blades up off the ground, pushing your lower back into the ground and just hold in this position. Hold in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, feet flat onto the ground. Hands going up underneath of the glutes. We're gonna go to that six inches above the ground. So feet fully extend, six inches above the ground. From here, I want you to go ahead and raising the legs, keeping them straight all the way up, and then come all the way back down. Nice and slow descending. You're gonna raise all the way up. Nice and slow descending. Raise all the way up. Nice and slow descending. Raising all the way up. Nice and slow descending. Keeping that rhythm. Here we go for six, and five, four, and three, two, and one. Descending nice and slow so you get six inches above the ground and hold. Now what we're gonna do is bring the feet out and then back in. Bring the feet out and back in. Out back in. Rhythm for 20 and 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, awesome, feet flat onto the ground, bridge. Hold the bridge, extending the hips all the way up, holding this for five, four, three, two, one. Flipping over to plank, now from the elbows. Going right into plank, now we can create the body being parallel with the ground. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds here. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. Come into the knees. You guys did absolutely phenomenal. There's the seven minute ab routine. You can do this on a daily basis. If you truly want that six pack and being able to get those results, we've created here at Crane Factor a program that takes you through an entire 20 minute ab routine that you can do at the comfort of your own home combined with a nutritional guideline, combined with a cardio blaster. And the whole program will get you those results that you're looking for. Go ahead and hit the link below. It'll send you directly to all the information that you need to know to get you going. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. See you in the next video.